Muhammad Ali, originally named Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., was an iconic figure not only in the world of boxing, but also in global culture. His incredible journey from a young boy with dreams to becoming a boxing legend is a story of talent, determination, and courage. Early life and the bike that started it all. Muhammad Ali was born on January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky, USA. He grew up in a loving family with parents Cassius Clay Sr. and Odessa Clay, and a younger brother, Rudy. As a child, he was known for his boundless energy and playful spirit. One day, when he was 12 years old, a thief stole his beloved red bicycle. Young Cassius was furious, and he vowed to whoop the thief if he ever caught him. A local police officer, Joe Martin, who also happened to be a boxing coach, encouraged Cassius to learn how to box to channel his anger constructively. Early boxing career and Olympic gold. Under the guidance of Coach Martin, Cassius Clay began to box. His talent was evident, and he quickly rose through the amateur ranks. In 1960, at the age of 18, he represented the United States in the Rome Olympics. He stunned the world by winning the gold medal in the light heavyweight boxing division. Becoming Muhammad Ali After the Olympics, Cassius Clay turned professional. He soon gained attention not only for his boxing skills, but also for his unique personality. He called himself the greatest and used his words to psych out his opponents before fights. In 1964, at the age of 22, Cassius Clay faced heavyweight champion Sonny Liston. Despite being considered the underdog, he shocked the world by defeating Liston and becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. It was after this fight that he announced he had converted to Islam and changed his name to Muhammad Ali, which means beloved of God. The Vietnam War and Conscientious Objection As the Vietnam War raged on, Muhammad Ali faced a difficult decision. In 1966, he was drafted into the U.S. Army, but he refused to go. He cited his religious beliefs as a Muslim and his opposition to the war as reasons for refusing to serve. This decision led to him being stripped of his boxing titles and banned from the sport for several years. The Fight of the Century In 1970, after a three-and-a-half-year hiatus from boxing, Muhammad Ali returned to the ring. He faced Joe Frazier in a highly anticipated fight known as the Fight of the Century. Frazier won the match, handing Ali his first professional loss. It was a brutal and exhausting battle that went the full 15 rounds, Ali's redemption and the rumble in the jungle. In 1971, Muhammad Ali faced another formidable opponent, George Foreman, in Kinshasa, Zaire, now the Democratic Republic of Congo. Ali, considered the underdog once again, used a strategy he called the rope-a-dope to tire out Foreman. In the eighth round, Ali seized the moment and knocked out Foreman to regain his heavyweight title. This fight became famous as the Rumble in the Jungle, the Thrilla in Manila. In 1975, Ali faced Joe Frazier in a third and final epic showdown known as the Thrilla in Manila. The fight was a brutal 14-round battle that pushed both fighters to their limits. Ali emerged victorious, but both fighters showed immense courage and determination. Later years and health challenges, Muhammad Ali retired from boxing in 1981 with a record of 56 wins, 5 losses, and 37 knockouts. However, the toll of his boxing career became evident as he developed Parkinson's disease a condition that affected his movement and speech. Despite his health challenges, he remained active in humanitarian efforts and continued to inspire people worldwide. Philanthropy and Activism Ali was known for his philanthropic endeavors and his advocacy for civil rights and social justice. He used his fame and fortune to support various causes, including the Muhammad Ali Parkinson Center in Phoenix, Arizona, and humanitarian missions around the world. Passing and Legacy Muhammad Ali passed away on June 3, 2016, at the age of 74. 
His death was mourned worldwide, and he was remembered not only as a boxing legend, but also as a symbol of resilience, courage, and standing up for what you believe in. His famous quote, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, became a symbol of his agility and power in the ring. Conclusion, Muhammad Ali's life was a remarkable journey filled with triumphs and challenges. He was not just a legendary boxer, but also a charismatic figure who used his platform to advocate for social justice and civil rights. His legacy continues to inspire people to fight for their beliefs and to never give up, even in the face of adversity. Muhammad Ali's life story is a testament to the power of determination, self-belief, and the enduring spirit of a true champion. Thanks for watching and listening till the end. I hope you enjoyed watching our video. If you like our video, please hit the like button and share with your friends. And if you are new to our channel, then please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and turn on the notification. So, you can get notification when we upload new videos. Till then, be safe, be motivated.